Hi, how are you all? I need to start off with an apology, actually. Um, I thought I had 87 switches lubed and ready to go. Uh, turns out I didn't. Um, we're gonna be using KTT strawberries because I feel like as far as like unlubed switches go, uh, they're one of the better sounding ones. I like went through my stash and tried to find like the nicest sounding unlubed switches. I'm really sorry guys, like I dropped the ball there. But like hopefully it won't be too big of a deal because this is an entry edition. This is supposed to be budget and I feel like a lot of people who buy this aren't gonna lose their switches anyway. Sag. Hopefully it's not too big of a deal. Alright, so this is the NK65 entry edition. This is it and specifically beige. Now I don't think anybody has built this yet. I think we're first. So that's exciting. Um, so this will be, I believe, the first budget TKO available. This should be in stock starting end of December. So that's exciting. That's very soon. I think they said 135. Excellent. So it comes with this little case. And then right here, you have your cable and your keycap puller. I'm going to keep those closed. Most of you already know what those look like. All right. So here we go. Here is our NK87. It has a QR code for the build guide. And then on the back, it has this uh, telling you like, how to how to build it essentially so like make sure you don't fuck it up so they sent me the beige colorway which is partially where we're going to be using x-wing on it because i feel like x-wing on this is going to look so good okay something else that's new i can already see it these stabs are pre-lubed so the consistency of the pre-lube okay so they are lubricated but there is like nothing up the butt which is where it needs to be I think what we're gonna do, kind of need to show the pre-lubrication for other people. So I'm actually gonna leave this stock, if that's all right. That doesn't mean the stabs aren't gonna sound great, but y'all know what good, good lubed stabs sound like anyway. There, there's a closer look at that. You can see the dots right there and there, 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 there. Like overall, it's pretty consistent. I mean, this one is minus a little bit compared to the rest, and this one has a little bit more. But like, overall, it's not too bad, right? Plate mounted stabs, yes, iron. Unfortunately, um, this does come with stabs. Alu plate, no, this is the same. I believe this is the same plastic as the rest, so probably a polycarb ABS blend. Wait, wait a goddamn second. These are PCB mount, aren't they? Yeah, I think these are PCB mount. I was like, why do these look so much like PCB mount stabs? Oh, they are PCB mount stabs. Hell yeah. Okay, then let's do, let me screw it all back together. We will disassemble and like have fun with it after. I do want to do like a stock sound test first. No, oh, that's all right. Oh, chat. Hold on, I'm gonna show you what I am seeing so that we can be excited about this together, deal? So we have here, um, so these are PCB mount stabilizers, excellent. So you just remove the PCB from the plate. You can also remove the standoff posts. Hell yeah! Chat, this is so awesome. I feel like this is, ooh, this is all I ever wanted out of one of these keyboards and I've been like waiting for so long for someone to offer something like this that's like comes pre-assembled so it's super beginner friendly. You can literally just pop switches into it, but if you want to do more with it, you can. Will this be win key only, by the way? I believe so. I believe so. So I apologize to those of you for whom win key is a deal breaker, but also ha 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 ha. What's the difference between the normal edition and the entry edition? The normal edition is made out of aluminum. This edition is made out of plastic. That's the major difference. Also the price, this is going to be significantly cheaper. Usually, generally speaking, it's about half the price, like a little bit under half the price of the aluminum edition. Yes, and I believe the aluminum edition, and don't quote me on this, but I believe the aluminum edition is $2.29. So it's 100 bucks cheaper. Yes, okay, so it's $235. Do you know what colors the E will come in? Well, I'm betting probably beige. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna keep the RGB on just so you can see it. <laughs> Obviously, these aren't backlit caps. Um, so just a reminder, 
this is the stock stab lubing. It is not very good. <laughs> it is better than nothing. So these stab stabilizers are going to be rattly. Also a reminder that these um, switches have not been lubed by me. This is the stock, stock lubrication. So please keep that in mind as well. And just a reminder also, this is SA. If you don't like the sound that my nails make when they hit the keycaps, I'm sorry. All right, let's do our, let's do our test, shall we? I'm gonna do a real quick um, alphas test, but like that's not a that's not a big deal. Who here doesn't lube their stabilizers anyway? It takes two seconds in a syringe. Like it's fine. I'm not bothered by that at all. I think straps come unlubed. Do they? Did I lube these then? Is <laughs> that way they sound okay? Let me look it up. I could have lubed them and forgotten about them. They were in my unlubed drawer though, and I can't remember. It's entirely possible that I lubed them. If so take everything I said before back. <laughs> but all right, there we go. Shall we pull this apart and see how adjustable it is? Oh, it's pressure tabs. A little tabby boys. Okay, so let's start here. Oh no, how do these work, chat? Oh, there's one. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna follow this now, this line. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be levering it like this. This is not a build guide. So like, here's the tabs. I'm gonna lift it up to show you guys. Yeah, so here's the tabs and here's how they attach. It is kind of at the bottom. Let's do that. And then there's like little slots in the case for you to get at them from the top here. Oh, there's the standoffs. Okay, so these are removable. And then there's also the silicone stack that you can take out. If you take this silicone out, make sure, chat, make sure that you put the switches in with like it disassembled, all right? There are two screws that I have to take out in order to pull apart the rest of it. So one right here, and one right here. And then like this can come out, I believe. Yep. Sick, dude. Okay. Oh, and you can take out like all the silicone. Okay. And then as mentioned, this does come stock with PCB mounted stabs, the novel keys ones. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing. This is like completely stock, except for I took out all the silicone and the standoffs. I did take out all the silicone, didn't I? Did I not take out the bottom silicone? Here we go. So this is XA SA X-Wing with K KTT strawberries that might've been lewd by me. I think they might have been, so I'm not gonna call them stock anymore. <laughs> um, and unlubed stabs, I'm sorry if this hurts you in advance. If you hear any ticking noises, um, that's my nails. All right, here we go. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the gate is on? I'm so sorry. Also, I've decided though, we're just gonna stay up to the alphas because these stabs hurt me too. <laughs> now, we'll do our typing test. All right, here we go. So let's pop the butt off and get rid of that bottommost silicone now. Wait, sorry, is it ABS or polycarb? I don't know the plastic on it, LW. Um, I'm gonna be frank with you, it kind of doesn't really matter sound-wise or otherwise. Polycarb, there you go. Yeah, doesn't super much matter in this configuration. I thought I was, I thought I could do this entirely with just my hands and not using those tabs, but alas, I think my my hubris was too much. Maybe if I just... 
<laughs> Mike, I hope you aren't watching. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, we're gonna remove the bottom silicone now and just redo that typing test one more time with absolutely no silicone. I will say, this is a massive fucking hunk of silicone. It will, this will make the most difference <laughs> in terms of, t it's so much silicone. Um, do keep in mind as well, this is SA. We're just gonna keep the SA for the sake of like appearances. Obviously this will sound a lot less um, like SA sounds if you use not SA, all right? All right, here we go. No stabs, no stabs, I can't take it. Okay, now we're good. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I am super excited about this. Oh, flex. That is something I wanted to test too. All right, so obviously this is not scientific. We're just trying to see if it'll bend, right? There is some. I don't know how well you can see that. There is some. Is it a lot? No. Why do I expect it a lot considering it's basically now sandwich mounted? No, it's mostly just coming from the plate. But it's nice that there's even a little bit considering. Let me try this on like a properly stiff board. Please hold. So it's not nearly as stiff as this. There is some flex even when just normal typing, which is nice. But it's, it's still not super flexy. All right. Chat, I think that's really all we have today. And have a wonderful weekend, y'all. I hope it's really, really cheap. I hope the price is sub 150. It is evolution. The price for this will be 130, 135. Very exciting. All right, I love you all. Please stay safe. Please stay safe. Please stay sane. Please take care of yourselves. If there's ever anything I can do for any of you, please let me know. I'm here for y'all. Um, enjoy your weekend. Goodbye. Raindrops, star drops, the clouds won't stop. My umbrella.